The definition of resiliency is being able to recover and withstand what the world throws at you regardless of what it may be. I was 17 the first time I was stopped by police and an elder in my community and asked me if that's why I stopped wearing hoodies. When we talk about resiliency, we think about marching in these streets. We do it for community, for the mothers who worry about their sons, hoping systems and swallow them whole only to spit them back out, for the community centers that offer a second home and foster after school activities for youth in the world that makes them feel as if they don't have a chance, for reacting to injustices that take place. We are more than just hashtags that are placed in every racist Facebook comment can feel like a slap in the face. What I'm trying to say is, resiliency isn't always a silk birthed from beauty. Some days I'm filled to the brim with tragedy, but the world applauds me for how firm I stand. So when they ask how do I keep up, I respond by saying it's hard to be anything else in the world that wasn't made for me. But if I'm being honest, to me, part of resiliency is never letting this world break down our vulnerability. Resiliency is never losing touch with your empathy, and resiliency is seeing the beauty in spite of the world trying to swallow you whole, so don't lose hope, because we don't fight with anything else. Even when the odds are stacked against us, I promise not to lose myself in the world that was designed to keep us down. I'll never lose my smile in spite of that. I'll never fade my laughter, lifts my spirits after I've fallen down, and I will never let go of the joy that keeps me above water or the happiness that took a long time to be found. I will never let go of the things that make me, me. And I will always continue to dream for a future where I'm allowed to express myself unapologetically. And for me, that's how I define resiliency.